Let's take a closer look at Audi's weird performance numbers, which no customer ever understood. Audi has a tradition of the best model naming convention. It started during the PH time with Quattro for all-wheel drive vehicles, and just after his departure to VW, Audi introduced a combination of letters and numbers, where A are the normal vehicles, S the sportier cars from the same development departments, and RS the faster special cars from the Quattro GmbH. The number tells you the size of the car. The bigger the number, the bigger the size and base price of the car. In the 2000s, every manufacturer worked on downsizing. So manufacturers used smaller turbocharged engines instead of using larger naturally aspirated engines. Advantage is that at lower loads, you're running a smaller capacity engine, which means the throttle opens more and there are less turbulences and losses in the intake, hence you can run the engine more efficiently. And if you need power, you get boost from the turbo and can reach the same power output. Needless to say that downsized engines face higher stresses, which is bad for reliability. So it suddenly happened that a smaller turbocharged engine is more powerful and hence faster than a bigger naturally aspirated engine. Before, the engine size at the back of the car was a good indicator for the car's performance. But that was no longer the case. So at Audi, people were thinking about a new and clear naming convention, which tells customers and neighbors in a simple way about the car's performance. So what are people interested in when thinking about road car performance? It's either acceleration or top speed. Because top speed is usually not experienceable outside of Germany, Audi decided for the 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration. The faster the car, the shorter is the time, hence a lower number. But to make this naming convention super intuitive, Audi wanted to create a system where the faster car has a higher number. So they took the 0 to 100 km per hour time and divided it by G to work out how much percent of G a car reaches an average during acceleration. For example, if an Audi accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 5.7 seconds, it's an average acceleration of 4.9 meters per square second. And this is half a G. Hence, the name at the back of this Audi is 50 TFSI or 50 TDI. If an Audi accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 8.1 seconds, it is an average acceleration of 3.4 meters per square second, and this is 35% of a G. Hence, the name at the back of this Audi is 35 TFSI or 35 TDI for diesels. And so we can also work out how fast an Audi 100 TFSI would be. That would be 100% of a G, so 9.81 meters per square second, and that means an acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour of 2.8 seconds. So Audi created a naming convention which was independent of engine size, weight and other factors, and worked for hybrid and electric cars as well. By the value of the number at the back, it was very clear to everyone how fast this car is. The problem was just that no one understood it. And because most people are overwhelmed by basic math, no one could explain it to customers around the world either. So customers complained about the missing engine size at the back and everyone was confused about the weird numbers at the back of each Audi. In the meantime, it seemed like even within Audi there was confusion and maybe that wasn't explained properly to the marketing department, as they were explaining it in power categories, which was even more confusing for customers, as a powerful car can still be slow if it's heavy. And these numbers were completely unrelated to their performance category. So what started as a great idea became a marketing flop and disappeared again. Audi created a system which was clear and suitable for all drivetrains including hybrids and electric cars, but the simple calculation was never explained to customers. And by the looks of it, not even internally. How did you like the Audi performance numbers? Was it a good system for the future or is it better that it's gone? Let me know in the comments below and check out my other videos for more.